Well, we always start off a little slow. So usually the beginning of May, the animals are trickling in, those little babies are trickling in. By mid-May, uh, end of May, it's it's full blown where they're, they're coming in uh, in large amounts on a regular basis. Um, so right now, you know, they're just baby raccoons, baby squirrels coming in, you know, a few here and there every day. Um, but then soon it'll, it'll really pick up and, uh, that's where we're really going to see that influx of animals here at the sanctuary where all the volunteers are on, you know, working around the clock, feeding them. And, um, it just gets really, really busy. And raccoons in Ontario are a really big problem because there's not enough rehab facilities. There's not enough spots available for them in rehab. And every year, hundreds and hundreds of babies are turned away from rehab because we just don't have the room for them. And a lot of those babies uh, that were orphaned could have been prevented because people had a mama raccoon in their attic or their shed or their boat, and they decided to trap and remove her or trap and kill her, which ended up orphaning the babies, which then take up spots in rehab facilities. So there's babies out there that are truly orphaned because mom gets hit by a car or something bad happens to her and these babies really do need um, our care. And then there's the babies that didn't have to come into our facility if the homeowner would have called a rehab rehabilitation center first, um, got some advice on how to remove um, the mom and the babies humanely, which it's, it is possible. Um, and then that would have prevented her death or the orphaning of uh, the babies. So if you know if you really care about the animal or if you want to do the right thing and you don't want to spend the money on trapping uh, hiring a trapping and removal company, give us a call and we can give you some tip tips on how to get mom to move on her own and take her babies with her.